Hey YouTube, today I'm going to talk about the Braxton Family Value Season 3, um, Episode 6. Um, this episode was all about, well, not all about, but the beginning part was about Daddy Braxton's, um, birthday. 65th, I think is his birthday. So let's get into it. It starts off with the sisters. They meeting up at dinner. Um, they all, was, they are talking about, first of all, about the daddy's party and about how they, daddy's side is ratchet. And they're going to have to deal with these people at the party. Um, Tamar is mad because the daddy wants a buffet. And Tamar like, can we have somebody cater? Because I really don't want to be keep getting up at, um, and getting no food. So, you know, you know, basically she wants this elaborate, this elaborate party. But that ain't what her daddy like basically won't. And if y'all talking about it, it's going to be some ratchet people there. I think that's what y'all need. Um, what else? Oh, they start talking about how the cousins don't really care for them and how the cousins was on Facebook talking about them and talking about Tamar's a gold digger and her husband. And they was like basically throwing shade at them, talking about Tamar ain't going to be nothing but a background singer. And you know how it is. You know if, well, I don't, you might not know how it is because I don't. But, um... But I think it's because they're celebrities and they probably don't deal with their family, really. Then they family probably feel like they think they too good for them or whatever like that. That's what I think it is. But you know how family is. Like, bitch, if you think you too good for me, then I'm going to put you on blast. That's how it is. Um, The next thing was the family day in Baltimore for Daddy Braxton's birthday party. It was it was cool. Tamar said it was ghetto because of the way it was set up, and I can understand what she's saying about it. It's not. It just wasn't her type of party what she wanted for her father, and the other side of the family was there. All the family members was there. Tamar and them was liking it at first because they felt like it was brought back so many memories, like before they became celebrities. That's basically that what they that was. They was hanging with all these people. But, um, it was like a bring your own liquor kind of party. Like, everybody had shots and shit. And I was like, that's a black party for you. You mad at that? That's a black party. That's how black parties get down. They gonna bring their own shit. Because, um, if you ain't got what they want, they got it. That, that was just a regular black family gathering to me. I would have had fun. Tamar gave it the program. Don't talk about Tony them being bougie and not knowing where they came from if you don't want to represent where you came from and all your family was there that's all i'm saying um the daddy he came in as a pimp that was funny he had his little gold teeth he throwing money my thing is they need to tell us if his the daddy's still a pastor or not because even if this was a party and this was a dressed up party i don't know no pastors or preachers that's coming to a party as a pimp throwing out money and all that kind of stuff and who was his wife? Because they didn't show her. So, I don't know. But, yeah. Tell me, where where he a pastor? Or is he still a pastor? Did he get his license took when he cheated on Mama Evelyn? Like, somebody leave that in the comments. Because I was kind of thrown off by that. But, everybody else liked it. It was funny. It was cute. Um, the daddy, I mean, the Aunt Bev showed up. And all of them started calling her ratchet and how they didn't like her. The daddy had made a speech, um, then she made a speech, and she started talking about how when he got into it with his baby mama, and that's when the sisters start feeling some kind of way, that's where the party went kind of downhill, because they felt some kind of way, because they felt like, wait a minute, hold up, that wasn't his baby mama, that was his ex-wife, get them titles right, and all that stuff, so I was like, I understand what they were saying on that, like, that wasn't a baby mama. Um, baby mama is, is a person that you just sleep with, you make a baby, you don't deal with that person no more. But they had a relationship for over 20 years, so, come on. Um, she said the daddy had three personalities, and I'm like, she was trying to be funny, but it was not sitting well with the sisters at all. Then they show how they cousin, I guess the girl that said all that stuff on Facebook, she walked past them. So, even if you wasn't going to speak to them, you must want a camera time because you walked past them. So, if you felt all that kind of way, you wouldn't even walk their presence. Then, Aunt Bev, she um, calls Trina over there to the table or whatever. And, um, Trina gets up to go talk to her because she said she didn't want to cause a scene. All the other, the sisters felt some kind of way that, uh, 
she went over there to talk to her. Before I keep going, Tate, Tony wasn't at the party because her doctors wouldn't let her fly. So, there you go. Um, But, yeah, so she go ask her aunt, like, what was up with you calling my mama baby mama? So, yeah, they deal with that. And then the auntie kind of felt some kind of way, and then she ended up leaving the party. The next scene was where the sisters was at dinner with their dad because they was getting ready to leave out the next day. So, they want to have a last final dinner with their dad. They talk about how um, his sister was talking about her, their mama, and he said the sister is whack. Then they start talking about how they need to get back to the ATL because Mama Evelyn is in the hospital. So, um, they start talking about her and her health and stuff like that. So, I thought that was cool. Um, that's only basically I, I listened to. But, yeah, they were talking about that. I think he did ask where the other dude was and Tamar made like a little comment like you can move on in because he ain't there no more or whatever. So, but he was, um, dang, that ain't happening. Mama Evelyn ain't even that not happening. Then about the next scene was Mama Braxton. She's in the hospital. I think she was having abdominal pains. So she's in the hospital. The girls go see her. Tamar wiping everything down. Got gloves. Because if you know... Tamar, or seen other seasons of the Braxton's, you know she she's like a germaphobe when it comes to the hospital. She don't she has a problem with hospitals, so she wiping everything down. They all sitting there talking and seeing what's going on and telling her she needs to be back healthy and all this kind of stuff. The doctors telling her what she needs to eat and what she needs to do. Then at the end, um, Vince prays for the family. Um, then Tamar give her little P.S. prayer. And they all kind of felt some kind of way about that. But shit, that's her mama. So, you can do all the P.S. P.S.S. prayers you want to, Tamar. That's your damn mama. Pray for your mama. Um, the next thing was Tony and Babyface. They have a talk about Tony's career. Um, Tony's, first they talk about Tony and that damn Christmas tree in her house. Tony, take that damn Christmas tree down. Just like, just like, uh, Babyface says, take the, we gonna, Get this tree out of here, girl. Like, it's springtime. Take this shit down. It's spring, summer. I don't know when it was, but it wasn't Christmas time. Um. So, anyway, they talk about the her not want to sing no more. And they go over that. And Babyface is basically just giving her the real, like, shit ain't going your way right now. Now, it happens sometimes. Get, put your big girl panties on and keep on going. Like, you can't let this get to you every time... Things ain't going your way. You want to shut down. That's basically what he was telling her. Um, Like, you got fans out here that love you. What are you going to do with them? Like, come on, Tony. Like, Tony is scared of failure. That's what that is. Tony is very scared of failure. And she knows the music is seen. It have changed. And her sister is out. Um, No shit, but her sister is out. But I'm just saying, so she's scared of failure to me. So, that was that. Um, Tony, oh, the shade that Tony, I mean, baby, uh, baby face threw when he told her, you need to sing how, you know, people used to sing, you know, he was talking about how people, she don't need to sing to sell records like Michael did. And I was like, oh, did you just put Michael Jackson out there like that? For real? For real? Anyway, um, moving on. Mama out the hospital. They go see a nutritionist. That was yada yada yada. They need she needs to get her ass together, eat right, do what she gotta do. That's that's what you need to do, Mama Evelyn. Anyway, Tracy and she go to the gun safety classes with her husband. That was whatever. Then they go to the gun range and that was whatever. Pow pow bang bang Tracy. Um, Tawanda and her mama go to the exercise place. They exercising and having fun. You know, mama gotta get in shape and get right. So then that exercise lady started dancing with no damn rhythm. But Mama Evelyn kept up. Mama Evelyn's like, shit, she got enough rhythm for me to keep up. I don't need to do this fast shit. I got this. And she was doing, she was even trying to do the butterflies and twist the rollers, whatever the hell that was. So that was cool. Um, the next thing was Tamar and Tony, they talking about Mama Braxton and her health. Then Tamar tells her how Tracy wants to get a gun. The comment that I didn't like about what Tony said was like, what is she trying to do? Uh, kill, rob the rich and give it to the poor? Like, come on, Tony. Then Tony tells Tamar how they parents had a gun. And Tamar like, what? And she was like, well, they, she wouldn't even let us play with water guns and yada, yada, yada. And I understand that because I don't let, I didn't let my kids play with them either. So I understand that. Um, 
But yeah, so Tony was talking about she needs to change her the way she lived if um so she wouldn't need the gun. So she fucked some kind of way about her having a gun. Then what I didn't like is she always wanna tell her damn mama. Like y'all see y'all mama stressing and going through shit. Like she wants to tell her mama on Tracy. I'm like, come on, for real. But anyway, before she could do it, Tracy and her mom at the end, they go shopping or whatever. They was looking at some little outfits. Mama talking about that look dope or some shit. And I'm like, ooh. And then she te- Tracy picks up some shorts. She tells Tracy to put them shorts down because she got a son, a teenage son. She don't need to be wearing that. Like, no, like, boo-boo. You too old to be there putting them booty shorts on. That's basically what her mama was telling her. So she tells her mama about the gun. Her mama starts telling her, no, no, no. You want to pray about that. Her mama is tell- trying to talk her out of getting this gun. But I'm like, did you not tell her that y'all had one when they were small? Like, come on now, Mama Braxton. Like, she's doing it for protection for her family. Like, so I get what she's saying. Anyway, that was my um review for the um, Braxton's family values. I hope I didn't leave nothing out. But if I did, you should have watched it. Um... <laughs> But yeah, that that was family uh Braxton Family Value season three, episode six. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe, share my videos on Facebook, Tumblr, Twitter, whatever you can on any social site. Um uh, make sure you follow me on Facebook, Twitter, uh Keek, um what else? Instagram. I go by the ghetto view T H A, not T H E on everything that I do except my Instagram. It's Miss Nika M I Z Z N E K A six nine. Um, talk to me and I'll talk back. All right, peace.